What's up guys and welcome back to another video. A lot of you guys have been asking me questions about plugins that you see in some of my videos. In this video, I'm going to be covering all of my favorite RuneLite plugins as a level 3 skiller. Also real quick before we get started, I just want to let you all know that I'm not going to be covering any of the graphic settings that I have in this video. And that's because I already have a full fledged comprehensive video showing all of my graphic settings and all the plugins that I use for them. And I'm going to be linking that at the end of this video. So if you are curious about my graphic settings, be sure to stick around to the end of the video where the link will then pop up and you can click on it and check that out after you're done watching this video. But with that aside, let's get into the first plugin. Alrighty, as you guys can see, I'm currently at Fossil Island and my frame rates are getting demolished. As you can see in the top right of the screen, I'm currently getting about 30 frames per second and I'm not even moving at all. And I'm zoomed in pretty far. If I were to say zoom out, I'm now getting only 17 and 18 frames a second and I'm not even moving. If I were to click somewhere and start running, you guys are able to tell how big of an issue that this is and the game is virtually unplayable with the 117 HD plugin at Fossil Island. However, there is a fix, and the fix is two plugins that I run when I'm in Fossil Island. So let's hop on over to our plugin hub, and to get to the plugin hub, click on the configuration tab over on the top right, and then click on the little plug icon right next to it. From here, you want to search for Fossil Island, and then you're going to want to install the plugin. From here, head back over to the configuration tab on the left, and then type in Fossil Island yet again to turn it on. Now you can see a lot of the clutter here at Fossil Island has been turned off, which is super, super helpful and lets your computer run better and lets you get more frames per second. But that's not all. You could also see a lot of the grass that's all around, which the shadows all slow down your computer as well. So what you want to do is search for the low detail plugin and turn that on. And your frames will be at maximum efficiency. Even when you're running through Fossil Island zoomed all the way out, you're still getting your maximum frames per second. And since we're already at Fossil Island, I might as well show you guys the next plugin that I love to use while I'm here. And that is Irby AFK. So head on over to the plugin hub and type in Irby. And then once you see Irby AFK, install it. And then you can click on the little gear icon to open up the Irby AFK settings. From here, you wanna turn on show path lines, highlight herbivore hall, and turn on path relative to player. You can also turn on any of these other settings. However, I don't use those personally. So what that does is highlight the rocks for hunting herbivore. So for example, I'm going to do a run real quick. I click on the rock and it'll show me exactly where I need to go for my next search. As you guys can see, it shows you exactly where all the tracks are and it shows you exactly where you're going to be running. So as you guys can see, once it turns green, that means that herbivore is going to pop out and then you can go over and harvest them. So the biggest question that I get in every single video that I make, and I get a lot of this question over and over again, is how do I get my farming notifications over here on the left? And the plugin that you're looking for is called Time Tracking Reminder. So once again, head on over to your plugin hub, type in Time Tracking Reminder, and then install the Time Tracking Reminder. Once it's installed, click the gear to go into the settings. And then from here, you can select all of the notifications that you want to pop up on your screen once the patches are completed. Keep in mind these will not pop up if the patches are not ready. I use this plugin all the time for birdhouses, farming contracts, and it helps me know when my herb tree and fruit tree patches are ready to be harvested. And once you harvest your patch or your birdhouse, the notification will then disappear and it will pop back up again when they're ready to be harvested again. The next plugin that I think everybody should be using are called bank tags. You can turn these on by going into your plugins and typing in bank tags. What bank tags allow you to do is organize your items regardless of whatever tab that they're in. To create a bank tag, all you gotta do is click the plus sign right next to your all items tab. From here, you can name your tag. I'm gonna name mine outfits for the sake of this video. And now you can see that there is a tag that is called outfits. You could change a picture of this tag by right clicking it and clicking on change icon, and then you could search for anything you want. So for example, I'm just going to use the fighter torso. So for this example, since I'm making an outfits tab, I could drag my prospector set in here. I could also drag in my spirit angler. And even though that these are all in different tabs, I can easily click on that tag and it will show me everything. And I could withdraw it just like this. Super, super, super easy. And if I don't want a tag, all you got to do is just right click it, 
delete tag tab, and then you have the option to delete only the tab or the tab and the tag from all items. Something that I love this for is whenever I do my farming runs. So if I wanna do a farming run, I just click on my farming run tab, and then I could just withdraw every single thing that I use for a farming run. And it's super, super easy. And there we go. I now have everything I need for my farming run in a matter of seconds. Another plugin that I use literally all the time, especially whenever I'm AFKing, is the Logout Timer Extender. This plugin allows you to change the amount of time that the client automatically logs you out at. So normally it's only five minutes that you can AFK without touching the client before you get automatically logged out. But with this plugin, you can set it all the way up to 25 minutes before you get logged out automatically. And I think this plugin is actually already pre-installed on your client. If it's not, it's in the plugin hub, but I can't seem to find it. So what you wanna do is head on over to your plugins and type in log out. And then you could set your time out time all the way up until 25 minutes. That means that you can be completely AFK and not click on your client for 25 minutes before you get logged out automatically. I use this all the time, especially whenever I'm cutting redwood logs. And it's overall just a lot better of an experience not constantly getting logged out every five minutes when you're doing an activity. Another one of my favorite plugins is the Virtual Levels plugin. What this allows the game to do is show you what your level would be post 99. So for example, I have 18.5 million smithing XP, which is equivalent to level 102. These levels are virtual, which means that they're not real. And as you guys can see, it shows exactly how much XP that you need in order to get to the next virtual level. These don't mean anything in the real game, so it is just a cosmetic plugin, but it does make grinding post level 99 way more enjoyable. If you've completed the quest Prince Alley Rescue, and you want a less click intensive way of training thieving, with the plugin I'm about to show you, you can get up to 140,000 thieving XP per hour, and you only have to click about five times per minute, if even that. If that sounds interesting to you, head on over to the plugin hub and type in one click summer garden. Install that plugin and head on over to the settings. Copy the same settings that you see here, and then open up the drop down for race style countdown and turn that on. Alrighty, once you have the plugin installed and you have the race style countdown turned on, you are free to open the gate to the Summer Garden. Once you pass through it, stand still right on their very first tile and look around at the Summer Elementals. All of the Summer Elementals that have a green zero next to them are already good to go and they're set up correctly. However, as you guys can see, there is one in the top left that has an orange number one on it. That means that I gotta get caught by that Summer Elemental one time so that all of the summer elementals have green zeros next to them. The plugin does automatically account for this and will set you up so that you do that perfectly. So what you wanna do now is hover over the tree. You'll hear it count down and on the last ding, you wanna click on the tree. This should then get me caught by the orange elemental as you can see here. But once you get caught by it, you can now see that the cycle is completely fixed and all of the summer elementals are at a green zero. Now it's all set up and you're good to do this over and over and over again. So once again, you wanna hover over the squirk tree and wait for the last ding. And now you're able to run completely from the beginning to the end of the course without getting caught. You're now free to do this over and over and over and over again to collect as many summer squirks as you want. Once you have two summer squirks, you could use a pestle and mortar on them with a beer glass to turn these into summer squirk juice. And then what you do is give these summer squirk juices to Osman in front of the Alcurid Castle. Each summer squirk juice gives you 3000 XP. Keep in mind these squirk juices are actually bankable, so you can put a ton of these in the bank and redeem them all very quickly. That's exactly what I did to get from level 75 to 99 thieving, and it only took about 45 minutes in order to go from 75 to 99 thieving. It did, however, take about 120 hours to get the amount of juices I needed, but it was really cool to go up from level 75 to 99 in 45 minutes of turning in these juices. And last but not least, the final plugin that I want to show you guys is called the Wilderness Player Alarm. Head on over to the plugin hub, type in Wilderness, and you can see Wilderness Player Alarm right here, and then you can install it. From here, go to the settings, turn it on, and then you can set your alarm radius. So I have my alarm radius set to 15, which means that 15 tiles in any direction of me, I will be getting an alert. 
So there's this guy over here. He's a little bit over 15 tiles away. So let me get closer to him and show you what this does. So now that there's a player within 15 tiles away from me, my screen is now flashing. I use this a lot from whenever I was hunting black chinchampas. That way people couldn't really sneak up to try to PK me. When I was hunting black chinchampas, I would turn this alarm radius all the way up to 24. So that way I knew anybody in the area whatsoever would be coming even close to me. So yeah guys, that about sums it up for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned some new plugins. And I hope I didn't confuse too many of you guys with my explanations. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, I'd really, really appreciate it if you dropped a like below, letting me know that you guys liked the video. So yeah, as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.